Invented the chocolate vodka, right? I was a big part of the the creation of the chocolate vodka, and um, the notes of the chocolate vodka is really based on the Godiva curvature. Okay. And uh, how did it start? It started actually in our kitchen, where we we took some of the cocoa beans that we're using for our chocolate, uh -huh. and let it macerate it into the vodka for three weeks. We filtered it, and that became really the target for the flavor. And uh, the, the Godiva curvatures are actually coming from one single origin in the wall. And it's an origin that has very particular flavors. Okay. And that's what you find again into the chocolate vodka. So the second one was one that we did earlier today, which was really fun. And it's more of a, maybe a winter fall drink, but it's called the Godiva chocolate s'more martini. So what I'm gonna do is take a shaker here and I'm gonna put in two parts of Godiva chocolate vodka. Not that much. And I'm also gonna be adding some hazelnut liqueur. So anything will do, and that's gonna kind of give it this s'more marshmallow taste to it. So one part of that, which is about an ounce, and I've also got some heavy cream. Just a big dash like that in there. And earlier I crushed up some graham crackers. And the best way to do this is to take a little bit of your vodka, put it on a plate, just like so. And that way you can rim a martini glass so it has a really pretty graham cracker crust rim on it. So you just want to take it, and go all the way around like that. And then I'm going to take it into my graham crackers. And you have an beautiful little graham cracker crusted rim. And then I'm gonna shake this up, and then we're gonna do a really cool thing as well. So that looks like the marshmallow part right here. Strain it into a pretty little glass. And then for a party thing to do, take a candle, put it out with some marshmallows, and toast yourself a marshmallow. Just like that. And then you can put your toasted marshmallow right in there. Huh? <laughs>